All right, I'm going to show you how to do a filtered Google image search so that you are looking for pictures that you are allowed to use um, under copyright law. So let's go ahead and search for a group of pictures. I'm searching Zelda Fitzgerald, F. Scott Fitzgerald's wife. And so you search that and then you go ahead and click images. <clears throat> and up pops all of the images Google can find on Zelda Fitzgerald. So what we need to do is um, make it so that the pictures that we have access to, we are allowed to use. So along the top here in this toolbar, you're going to click search tools. And then underneath that, you're going to hit usage rights. And the one that you want to choose is labeled for non-commercial reuse. This means you are allowed to reuse these um, as an, an, a student. Okay, so you'll click that. And now all of these pictures are pictures you are allowed to use under copyright law. And you'll see quite a few of them probably don't have a whole lot to do with Zelda Fitzgerald, but we do have quite a few that also pop up. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one. So once you click on this, the first thing you're going to want to do, since you're on a Chromebook, is you're going to right click and you're going to save image as, at which point um, the Chromebook will pop up your My Drive. So you'll go ahead and click Google Drive, and then in that folder that we all created, just go ahead and save the picture there so that it's there for you to use later. The next thing we want to do is cite this. So make sure you're in EasyBib, and I haven't created a new project yet. I'll do that right now. And make sure your default style is MLA. And then you are going to click Bibliography. <clears throat> so you're going to have to cite this yourself. This is why you want to maybe use Britannica Image Quest first because all the citations are already done for you. But what you want to do to cite an image is you're going to click all 59 options and then you're going to scroll down to digital image. It's in the second column and the um, types of um, sources are alphabetized. So click di digital image under D. And then you're going to want to try to find as much of this as you can on the page where the picture is found. So we'll go back here and what you're going to need to do is click visit page. Most of the images that you find on your Google image search that's filtered will probably show up on things like Flickr or Wikipedia. And so a lot of that information is usually pretty easy to find. Just leave it there. Um, so let's find that picture. Here it is. Okay, and just click on it. And once that pops up, you're going to see most of the information that you need pop up here on the bottom. This is going to look different on different websites, but you basically want to get to the page where the image has all the file information for it. So we've got a title of the picture here, Zelda in 1922. So we'll go ahead and put this in here. You don't need to put a description if you've got a title of the image. And then we need to find out if there's a person or group of people that put this on here. So... It doesn't look like we've got, well, let's see what more details tells us. Aha, here we go. So here's the file history. So the person who put it up here, his name is J. Henry. And since there's no space, we're just going to put that whole thing in last name. Website title, I think we saw that it was Wikipedia. And then the publisher, I just know this because I've done this enough, Wikipedia's publisher is Wikimedia Commons. Wiki, or I'm sorry, Wikimedia Foundation, and that's already going to autofill for me. All right, so when it was electronically published, looks like it was February 18th, 2008. Now you don't want to get that mixed up with here. Okay, the photo was taken in June 1922, but since it's a digital file that we're citing, we want when it was electronically published. So 18... February 2008, and date accessed is easy, it's today, and I think that's it, so then we're going to go ahead and create citation, and there you have it. Okay, so that is how you cite an image from Google. It takes a little bit of time and it takes a little bit of searching. Okay, before you call one of us over, take the time to see if you can find all of those details surrounding the electronic file. And that should be it.